Hi, good morning. Um, so I'm home after uh, a month away. Uh, it's been pretty manic uh, last week or so, so apologies for the uh, slight delay in doing this. Um, I just want to talk about the TomTom Tom 6250 that I've had from CUDA, courtesy of Truck Blog. Um, first of all, I found that it works a lot better if it's out of the box uh, on the way home. I'd packed all my stuff to come home uh, while I was waiting in the Hooker Holland. Uh, promptly got off the ferry in Harwich and the road was shut. <laughs> so uh, luckily there's a colleague in front of me, so I just followed him sort of thing. Um, <laughs> <coughs> so th there is that to it. Uh, apart from that, it's uh, bit, it's been very impressive. Uh, it's got a nice big clear display. Um, like a lot of junctions in Germany, you'll have sort of three lanes on the motorway here and you'll come off and the two lanes and you've got a choice of either say north, south, east or west or into town, out of town and this will show you exactly which lane that you need to be in which is really helpful. Um, speaking of the traffic part of it, uh, that's really really good. Um, we were double manning from Berlin down to Rome uh, in the middle of the night we, uh, we got a text message come through from a truck that had left earlier saying that the motorway was shut uh, because of an accident, so no sooner we grabbed the map to try and look if there's an alternative route round, this had um, come up saying come off the next exit. So we came off and it took us round, perfect acceptable diversion. We sort of shadowed the motorway. We could see the blue lights from the from the incident onto the next junction, and away we went. Um, saved us an hour at least. Um, so that was re that's really really helpful. I didn't actually get round to try and. Um, the different dimensions for something that's out of gauge. I never actually got, <clears throat> I didn't really have the time to sit and have a play with that, but that would certainly be very helpful. Uh, certainly where I do a bit of casual work, but they do a lot of out of gauge, you know, over width, over length stuff. And again, the ADR function, because I'm not ADR trained, I haven't, I didn't actually check it, but I presume it knows all the tunnel codes and various things like that. If I get a chance, I will try and have a play and, and see what I think. <coughs> but, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. But overall, uh, yeah, very good, very impressed. Um, I, when I initially got it out, I thought, crikey, this is you know quite a big old uh, display. But once I, I, I normally have mine out of the windscreen, um, but this sort of nestled there on the dashboard, and it, it didn't really sort of obstruct my view, so to speak. Um, it just sort of seems like quite a nice little size. Um, it's useful. I can connect my phone to it, so. Uh, it's quite bizarre really having this ring and my radio because my hands free is through the radio in the truck so that's certainly and I did actually use this for a phone call and it is acceptable my hearing's not very good but I could hear the phone call and actually you know use it for a phone call so that's another advantage as well so overall um, yeah very impressed um, I would certainly recommend one um, I'm not a big fan of mosquitoes um, so yeah, uh, very very nice. So um, we shall see uh, my next trip. I've got a few new country. Well, certainly one new country uh, and a lot more Eastern Europe and a bit of Russia. So uh, I'll really get to see just how good it is because I mean this last trip was just Western Europe. So um, I'll try and uh, next time I do a diary or whatever. If if I remember, I'll try and just let you know how it's performing. You know it be on the iron curtain so to speak if if you're of the slightly older generation uh, so anyway I am now gonna quickly drink me cup of tea and I've got a list as long as my arm of chores to do so um, I hope you enjoy this uh, again any questions or comments please just leave them and I endeavor to get back to everybody uh, it just may be a few days because I'm just so busy at the moment with being home but um, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching